Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first take a come where Busia for Wagana for name in a tap tap send. Papa no no. Mary May A. Digital. Create the life you want. www.maymarys.com By starting and running your own digital business. Work from home. Tips for business owners. How to create successful online digital business. Join our global company. Mentorship and training coaching. Training for each individual. Learn how to earn online. Be your own manager. For more information, visit www.maymarys.com or email us at info at maymarys.com. You can also call us on 0049 017-656-853-241. This business has helped me so much and my family. And to increase your income, join and create the life you want. Also for beginner. Also a beginner when I started this. Whatever you believe in in this world, all that you have to do is to keep doing it and keep pushing. That is what Sammy Flex we believe in total show business here in Ghana and around the world. So when you see me like this, I come with editorial. You see me with MC Barima, I come with Sammy Flex Speaks. And when you see me with a full squad, then you should know that it is Showbiz Daily. Showbiz is our thing, and that is what we will continue doing. So welcome once again to my editorial right here on Sammy Flex TV. And today I am going to talk about two great people. I'm talking about Shatawale Charles, Niamh Mensa, and I'm talking about Kish Daniel Buga. These are the guys I'm talking about today. Join me with my charges, Digital Rasta Currency. He is on camera. Richie Flex is the editor and director of the show. And Emmanuel Fori Lapiji is the producer. I'm giving you the editorial here on Sammy Flex TV. Now, number one, let me go on my phone and give you some information that I've got it. And as it stands now, I'm not too surprised why it is happening like this. And the first information is about Kiss Daniels Buga. I woke up today, checked on YouTube what is happening there, what is trending there, and I realized that Buga is trending at number one here in Ghana, YouTube. And I said, wow, beautiful. I decided to pay attention to some details. I realized that, okay, so within 13 days, the video has made 17 million views. Within 13 days, the video that is the Buga video, Kish Daniel and Techno. The official video, I mean, has made 17 million views within 13 days. And in fact, in Ghana, when you talk about millions in our music industry, when it comes to views, when it comes to stream numbers, obviously, when you hear the millions, you go like, whoa. Because, yes, the numbers might be bigger than some of us we expect from our artists. Let's be very honest. This is... 13, um, 13 days, and it is 17 million views. You check something like comments, and the comment alone is 17K comments. Like, it's crazy, mind-blowing. Mind-busting, like someone would say. This is so crazy, and I wonder how they do it. I wonder how it is done. So I decided to pay attention, 
listen to the song for some minutes and I realized that whether you like it or not, this is a wonderful piece. Whether you like it or not, this is a song that, or this is something that you'll be attracted to. I've seen people who have said that Kish Daniel is one of the best writers when it comes to writing songs. I've heard so many people, I've seen some commentaries here and there. I've seen so many people talking about it, that when it comes to penning, Kish Daniel's pen is so strong. He writes so very well. I paid attention, decided to listen to Buga back to back for some minutes today before I came to the studio to record this edition of the editorial. And I realized that, wow, those who have been saying that they are not far from right. They are not saying anything but the truth. Guy has a pen. His pen scales or his pen game is so on point. He writes so well and he delivered this song so beautifully. Thanks to Techno, of course. We know what Techno has done when he gave us Pana and all those great songs. So the combination alone makes it wonderful. Now the agenda to also get this song performed on the World Cup stage is also something that I know our people are pushing hard. I trust our people. I know they are pushing real hard when it comes to this agenda. And once again, we are going to make sure it happens for Africa. Because there's a world stage. And if the world stage, the whole world will pay attention to this. Why not? In the name of Africa, whether Nigeria qualified for the World Cup or not, we can only make sure we push our own there. And when we push our own there, everything will be done right. And that is what I want us to do. So once again, I woke up seeing Buga trading at number one on our YouTube channel here in Ghana. Or YouTube channels here in Ghana. But I'm not surprised. Because I checked the statistics. I look at the number. The numbers that are coming in for the video, and I said, okay, this shouldn't be surprised because as it stands now, even in Ghana, nobody has released any big thing like that. Apart from young boy last meet who gave us the Friday night thing, which we are still doing well, which we are still enjoying. I can still tell you that it does not have the strength that Buga is having now. And that is what you should know. It will be my story number one. Story number two on the editorial. That is today's edition of the editorial here on Sammy Flex TV. Powered by the man himself, Sammy Flex. We are talking about Shata Wale and Ghana party in the park in the UK. It is my hope to be there to witness this occasion because I have been going to London to see this event from time to time. It is my hope that right after my Dubai trip, I will be able to do some one or two rounds magic and jet over to London to go see this year's event as well. One interesting thing about this year's event is that looks like this year's event, event is going to be like Ghana versus Nigeria, as Bolare has been doing over the years. Shout out to Bolare for doing this. Maybe this year's event has something similar to it. Why am I saying this? It has that because the headline artist for this year's event, we have the almighty Shatawale, and of course, Mayo Kun is also at the other side. So if these two are going to be the headliners of Ghana Party in the Park, which has seen more Ghanaian artists perform on that stage, more than any other African artist. I can't say no other African artist has mounted that stage. That would be a lie. I know so many people have performed on the stage, but this time round, we are going to have one major act from Ghana and another major act from Nigeria, which is Shatawale and Mayokun. And this is, like I'm saying, it is going to be more or less like Ghana versus Nigeria. And once again, I'm just going to beg the conscience of my people. I'm just going to speak to the hearts of my people in London. Let's show up. Because over the years, Ghana Party in the Park has projected more Ghanaian artists that I know. Ghana Party in the Park has not projected any other artist from any other African country than Ghanaian artists. That has been what the process or the modus operandi of Ghana Party in the Park has been. But this time around, the organizers have seen the need to maybe project Afrobeat in entirety. Maybe they have seen the need to push African music to the top. Therefore, bringing together these two guys to lead the attack. I love Shatawale. I love Mayukun because they all have some good songs out there. But who else will be supporting this? Let me share this with you. Jackie is also there. Kelvin Boy is there. Kofi Kinata. Kamido. UG Official. Surprise PA. 
El Forian Ponsa, Edem, KK Fosu, Sydney, Kofinti, Baroski, and Incredible Ziggy. The combination looks so beautiful. And let me tell you why the combination looks so beautiful for this year's Ghana party in the park. There is the top guys, in this case, Shatawale and Mayo Kun. They have been around for some time, of course. Then we come to the boys who are having the trends now, or the people who are having the trends now. In this case, Camido, Kelvin Boy, Jackie, Kofi Kinata, and Adam and Co. They are on the field with the latest trends now, making sure they are rocking our airwaves. They are the parties, they are the weddings, they are the nightclubs. They are the people. Then if you have been a lover of Ghana music, there is no way you can forget guys like Ovorian Ponsan, KK Fusu, Sydney, and Kofinti. They have also had their greatest of time when it comes to our music industry here in Ghana. They are also going to support this. This year's Ghana party, the park is going to be something else. Now, I had a conversation with Shatawale, obviously, asking him, um, first of all, to confirm whether really and truly he's going for this year's Ghana party in the park. And this is what he told me, that Sammy, yes, I'm sure going to be there. And just as I went to US of A and I spent some time there and getting to know some people, connecting with industry folks and getting some connections done, I want to do similar when I travel to London. So maybe it is a secret I'm putting out, maybe not. Shatawale intends to do more in London than just to perform at the Ghana party, the park event. He intends to connect more with people. He intends to link up with so many people from around the world to do music with all these people. And that is what you should know. So to my SM people in London, Nijata, Sheila, and Co, Hajia, um, for life or something, something like that. I know the London team is huge. I cannot mention all the names there. Your king, your chief, your dance hall king is surely coming to town and he intends to do more. So maybe this is also the right time for you guys to connect. This is also the right time for you guys to open up some opportunities that you can have that interaction with your boss, as in the SM boss, and let's make it happen. But on the day, the big question I want to ask before I come out from this particular editorial is this. Who is likely to control the night? Is it going to be Shatawale from Ghana or it is going to be Mayo Kun from Nigeria. Well, Ghana Party in the Park is not even more nice night night because it's, a, it's an event that starts from morning throughout till evening. It's not a night gig. So let me even rephrase. Who is going to carry the day? Is it going to be Shatawale? Shatawale, I'm sure, would have more hit songs than Mayo Kun. I'm not sure I have to even debate this in my head. I want to be sure because he might have even been around more than Mayo Kun. Yes, I'm, I want to be sure about this. And when it comes to hits, giving back-to-back -back hits, Shatawale's career spanning over maybe two decades, entering into third, he can play songs back-to-back, back-to-back. I don't know how many hours or minutes he's going to be given to perform on that day, but I know Shata can go all out, perform all the crazy and monster hits that he's produced over the years. Mayo Kun, same way. I know my Alata people, I know my Nigerian people. They come with some energy, they come with some fire, they come with everything that you can think of. Obviously, his people will also be there to support him with all the numbers that they can boost off. I know this year's party in the park is going to be a great one. Just from this collection, just from this selection, it tells me that this year's Ghana party in the park is going to be a big one. But in case I come there, you'll meet up. But if I'm not able to do it, you... You know how we do it. My friend Van Dalkon in UK and some good people who have been giving me content from London, I trust them that they will be there to supply me with some information. But my interest is actually the banner headliners, Shatawale and Mayo Kun. Who is going to carry the day? Let's do that debate until 17th July. Uh, let me confirm the date once again. Yes, let's do that debate until 17th July. Then we can all go to... Oh, it is 16th July, rather. Sorry, forgive me. It is 16th July. That is Saturday, 16th July. Then we will all go to Trent Park. That is Cock Foster's to go witness this event. I've been there before. It is a vibely event. It is so big. So 16th July. Get a date right. 16th July. Let's all meet at Trent Park. 
where we've been doing Ghana party in the park over the years. And let me say salute to you, uh, Dennis. Dennis of Aquaba, promo uh, Aquaba Promotions. He has been doing this, Aquaba UK Promotions. He has been doing this over the years. Big ups to you, big man. And thanks for not losing hope in Ghanaian events or Ghanaian artists. We know the story is so difficult for you guys to even tell it all. That's why you don't tell it all. But all the time, you continue to do it. Please hold this event for us. If I get people that when you retire, they will even be doing it. And big ups to you, Alodi, as well. Ghana, uh, after Ghana Party in the Park UK, I know the next big event that will be happening in the UK is going to be um, Ghana Music Awards UK. I hear a match today in Kodontri does have a gig somewhere in August. I think 30th August. I'm not too sure. But a date in August. They're also playing in London. And all things being equal. Summer Flex TV crew, we will be there to make sure we follow up on all these events. The end of my editorial today here on Summit Flex TV. My name is Summit Flex. If you loved this, remember to subscribe to us and know that we are always reachable and available. Just connect us to just connect to us on our screens. Our number is there. Give us a WhatsApp message. Say hello and let's have a vibe. If you have a content that you would want us to also uh, deliberate about it, feel free, send it to us and let's do it. Thanking Digital Rasta for handling camera for me, Richie Flex for doing the editing, and of course to Emmanuel for Lapiji for putting the content together for me to do. I'm Sammy Flex. Link up in Dubai if you are around because we are there to do what we have to do. We are out of here.